二零一七年嘅第一条题目咧就系考翻我哋肌肉同埋骨骼系统嘅，咁下面有三个结构啦，韧带啦、肌腱啦同埋软骨，咁跟住啦要做翻配对咯，咁究竟啦佢哋有啲咩嘅特性咧？尤其是讲紧佢哋嘅适应性特征。有彈性定係冇彈性啊？嗱，佢哋連結住啲咩嘅組織呢？咁呢條題目呢，其實都相當之直接㗎啦。喺書本呢，都已經有晒概念俾大家。咁而家我哋逐一擊破喎。先睇下韌帶先啦。韌帶呢，佢係一個有彈性嘅結構。咁咁所以答案鎖定呢係 B 或者係 D 啦。咁韌帶啦，究竟係一個？骨头嘅末端嗰度揾到啊，定系将啲骨头连结埋一齐咧？我哋发现啦，韧带咧就系一个坚韧而有弹性嘅结构，就将骨头去连结起上嚟。一来佢有弹性，容许我哋嘅关节嘅喐动；二来啦，佢亦都好坚韧，所以啦就避免一个脱臼嘅情况啦。所以答案咧就系 D 咯。咁另一个有弹性嘅结构系咩嘢咧？其实就系软骨啦。软骨就喺我哋嘅骨头嘅末端位置，吸收震荡啊，同埋啦，亦都减少喺我哋喐动嘅时候，骨头与骨头之间嘅摩擦啦。所以软骨呢，就係 B 啦。咁剩低返肌腱啦，肌腱係一个咩结构呢？就係、是、将肌肉楞到去骨头嘅结构，而佢係坚韧而且冇弹性。咁冇彈性都仲有兩個選擇喎 ，A 同埋 C， 咁究竟邊個打邊個呢？咁 A 呢，佢就講啦，肌腱呢，就喺骨骼肌嘅兩邊嘅 ending， 其實呢個已經係答案啦。一嚿骨骼肌呢，一邊嘅 ending 就喺一嚿骨頭，另一邊嘅 ending 呢，就喺另一個骨頭嘅。而呢個末端呢，其實就係將所有肌肉纖維呢，去揦埋一住，就變成一個較為堅韌嘅結構，亦都係冇彈性。咁所以答案呢，就係 A 啦。咁净系 C 系咩嚟嘅呢？其实 C 呢，去包围住关节嘅一个冇弹性结构呢，其实就係我哋嘅纤维囊啦。而佢入面包住嘅呢，就係滑液膜 s i n o p h i l membrane）。好，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次呢，就係讲肌骨系统啦。咁当中呢，牵涉咗关节同埋肌肉啦。对于关节呢，有韧带啦、滑膜液唔同类型嘅结构啦。而肌肉呢，就不得不提嘅就係肌腱啦。而韧带同埋肌腱呢，题目就常常问我哋嘅适应性特征啦，边个有弹性啊，边个冇弹性啊？点解韧带要有弹性啊？点解肌腱要冇弹性啊？呢啲嘢呢，大家一定要学识嘅。关节啊，骨骼肌肉嘅配合呢，就引致到运动啦。我哋点解可以喐手喐脚呢？咁今次呢，我想讲嘅呢，就係喺个适应性特征所引申出嚟嘅体病学败我啦。其中一款病，我今次想讲嘅就系关节炎啦。书本都有相关嘅描述嘅。关节炎顾名思义啦，关节发炎，其中一个成因就系佢嘅滑液膜啦，分泌唔够足够嘅滑液啦，就令到当我哋喐动嘅时候咧，骨头嘅 end surface 佢哋嘅软骨咧就会增加咗摩擦，摩擦得多啦，佢哋就会损耗，从而啦引致痛楚啦。而佢嘅关节亦都会较为肿胀啦，而变得冇咁灵活啦。咁點樣去醫佢呀？就係、是、透過人工關節置換術啦。而啦，膝頭哥將下面嘅呢個骨頭就換返一個人工關節俾佢啦。而另一款病痛呢，之前都有同學問嘅啊，梁 Sir 啊，呢款病呢可以點樣出嘅呢？咁我借住呢條題目呢，又講一講啦，就係、是、脊柱側彎。你望下呢兩個人呢。望起上嚟，嗱、这、呢个叫正常，呢、这个叫唔正常啊？唔正常喺边度呢？啊，好似膊头侧咗。而你望下呢一幅图，佢哋另转背嘅话呢，你就会发现啦，佢嘅尾龙骨呢，又好似真係呈现咗弯曲嘅情况啦。呢、这个就叫脊柱侧弯，严重嘅可以喺呢个情况。咁呢个男仔呢，就係、是、五岁嘅时候呢，就被確诊脊柱侧弯啦，同埋咧呢个脊骨向后曲嘅。喺楼下留言区啦，你都揾返呢位男仔嘅故事，亦都知道下脊柱七弯呢嘅情况係可以有幾严重啦。咁但係题目可以点问你呢？喂，喺书本真係冇啲咁样嘅例子㗎喎。的确喺整个課程呢，脊柱七弯係属于一个陌生嘅情况，而考评局亦都好鍾意问一啲陌生嘅情况。不过唔使驚，题目都会俾足够嘅指示你嘅。咁例如啦，佢会问下我哋。脊柱侧弯嘅成因，佢唔会直接问你，可能佢会俾啲原因你，因为而家现今科学界咧，对于脊柱侧弯嘅成因咧，都系众说纷纭嘅，未有一个好确切嘅成因。不过同以下嘅原因都有啲关系，可能系遗传因素啦，可能佢嘅脊椎受过感染啦，可能系嚟自一个不良嘅姿势啦。
營養不良啦，又或者佢肌肉咧唔平衡嘅，就令到咧有脊柱側彎嘅情況。佢可能拿住一個嚟問你咯。哦，有醫學研究顯示咧，原來脊柱側彎咧係同基因遺傳有關嘅、哦。我哋經過一番研究之後咧，咁我哋發現咧有一個等位基因咧就控制住一個人，會唔會大啲機會有呢個脊柱側彎嘅情況啊？咁佢就問下你，哦，究竟呢個等位基因可能係顯性啊，定係隱性咧？都可以咁样问你噶，而至于啦，营养不良嗰啲、啊，我哋想咧呢个细路哥冇咁容易患上脊柱侧弯，食啲咩嘢好啊？我哋经过食物嗰课，我哋都大约谂到啊，对于骨头健康嘅，应配一啲有丰富钙质嘅食物，就应该对佢哋有益处啦，系咪？之如此类，呢、这个都系成因。问完成因啦，解问一啲后果啦，有啲咩嘅负面影响呢？咁脊柱侧弯对一个病人嘅呼吸系统啦，对一个消化系统啦，会有啲咩嘅负面影响呢？例如啦，由于你成个人呢成日屈住咗嘅，或者歪零歪称嘅，咁对于你成个肺嘅体积可能有所减少啦，亦都会限制咗你个横膈膜肌肉嘅喐动啦，亦都有机会由于你成个脊柱侧弯，你个驼住背啊，屈住个身啊，对呢个气管呢，亦都有机会扎住咗佢，收窄咗佢啦。就会阻碍咗你呼吸咯，系咪？跟住去到消化系统啦，咁所以就会导致到你嘅消化器官咧，佢哋嘅位置就会少咗啦。例如啦，当你屈埋歪零歪称嘅时候咧，对于你嘅食道啊、个胃啊、个小肠啊，都会面对一个俾人哋去压缩、挤压嘅状态。咁咪大啲機會引致消化不良囉。而消化系統對於食道啊、胃啊、小腸啊，你係學過晒㗎嘛，應該噏得出點解係會對個消化系統呢造成不良嘅影響嘅。咁當然仲有其他影響嘅。你諗下一個患有脊柱側彎嘅女性，佢去駝住個 B B 嘅話呢，佢由於又係講緊啦，例如個盤骨歪咗啊，啊脊骨歪咗嘅話啦，對於佢個子宮啊，其實都會有個壓縮嘅情況，咁對個 B B 嘅成長自不然都有負面影響。响啦，系咪？咁讲完啦，成因啊，后果啊，梗系问下你有冇办法医啊？学完关节炎啊，都学人工关节置换手术啦，系咪？咁但系啦，脊柱侧弯有冇得医噶？唔好意思，脊柱侧弯系冇得医嘅。你话唔系呢个男仔，咁咪变成咁好咯？但系佢个情况都唔能够叫做百分之一百嘅康复，我哋就只系令到佢个情况舒缓咗一啲，又或者啦，令到佢唔会再恶化落去啫。其中一款咧就係矯形嘅腰架啦，咁當然啦，而家咧又多咗喎，嗰啲瑜伽啊、伸展動作啊，會唔會都令到嗰個脊柱側彎嘅情況得到改善呢？都有實證嘅。今次呢條題目雖然好短啊，但係兩常就想花多少少時間俾大家知道一下啲睇病學飽嘅原理啦，去令到大家知道睇病學飽哦係一個非常之有效嘅學習方法。Two one seven question one is about the musculoskeletal system. So we can see free structure in column one, ligament, tendon, and cartilage. We need to do the matching. In this question, we need to recall the features of different parts of the musculoskeletal system, particularly the adaptive features. Are they elastic? Are they inelastic? And what are they connecting with? So we can see that this question is very straightforward. You can find the ligament, cartilage, tendon concept from the textbook already. So let's take a look at the ligament. Ligament is a tough sheet of elastic fiber. We can confirm that the answer is either boy or D. So elastic tissue found at two ends of the long bone or elastic tissue that binds the bone together. So we can see that ligament holds the bones in position and prevents dislocation during movement. As the ligament are elastic, they also allow the bones to move. And the answer is D. So what about the other structure? Elastic tissue found at the two ends of the long bones. It is the cartilage. It can absorb shock, reduce friction between the bones during movement and prevent them from wearing away. So the answer is boy. And then for the last one, tendon, we can see that the tendon is tough and inelastic. That's the structure connecting the skeletal muscle to the bones. So for A and C, elastic tissue found at the two ends of a skeletal muscle and elastic tissue that surround a joint. So we can see that tendon, it is the structure connecting the skeletal muscle to the bones. There are at least two ends of the skeletal muscle. Therefore, the answer is A. And what about option C? In elastic tissue that surround the joint, it is our fibrous capsule. And for the curriculum mapping, 
this question it starts from the musculoskeletal system and there are two particular structures we need to uh, be familiar with one is the joint and the other is the muscle and for the joints we need to recall the structure like ligament or the synovial membrane synovial fluid and for the skeletal muscle we need to talk about the tendon and both of them we can check you the concept about the adaptive features which one is elastic and which one is inelastic how important for them to be elastic and inelastic and all the structures they work together it can help us to move to bring about movement and in this question i would like to grab this chance to extend the concept of adaptive features to disease approach the first disease i would like to talk about is uh, arthritis so there is a brief introduction in the textbook arthritis is the inflammation of the joint it may be caused by the insufficient synovial fluid produced by the synovial membrane. As a result, there is more friction between the cartilage covering the end surface of the bones during movement. And the cartilage wears away, causing great pain. And the joints also swell and become less flexible. So how can we treat it? So we can use the artificial joint replacement to cut the bones. And then we insert the artificial joint to replace the original joint. And the second disease I would like to talk about is the sicoliosis. Some students ask me that, uh, how can the HKDSC formulate some questions about this disease? Before we talk about the possible question variation, so let's talk about this disease first. So you can see that for these two girls, uh, one is long mode and the other is abnormal. mode. So what is the difference actually? And we can tell them to turn around so we can see that backbone, the vertebral column of this girl is really abnormal, a bit S-shaped or maybe C shape and then the severe case will be like this so you can check the video in the comment section to uh, learn something about the story of this young man so any possible question variation it can ask you about the possible causes in the clinical research there is a no single reason or a very distinctive reason to cause the sicoliosis possible causes may be genetic disorder backbone infection, poor posture, poor nutrition, and the muscle imbalance. The question may not ask you the cause of uh, sicoliosis directly. The causes may be given in the question. They may claim that the uh, sicoliosis is caused by the genetic disorder and there are two different alleles found in the patient. So you need to determine which one is the dominant allele or the recessive allele. And the question can also ask you that why the poor posture and the poor nutrition can lead to sicoliosis. Or the doctor suggests that uh, the uh, children, they need to eat more food uh, rich in calcium to prevent sicoliosis. You need to explain the rationale of this diet recommendation. After we talk about the possible causes, the questions can ask you the negative impacts on our body. Uh, for example, about the breathing system and the digestive system. For the breathing system, you need to recall that if the backbone is deformed, S shape or C shape, it may need to reducing of the lung volume, limiting the diaphragm movement or narrowing the airways. And for the digestive system, it may remove spaces from the organ which aid the digestive process because of the deformed backbone. So it may compress the esophagus, stomach, and the small intestine test time it's the idea you learn it in the DSC curriculum so you should be able to handle such concept and after we talk about the causes the negative impacts so it may ask you about the treatment just like the artificial joint replacement however sicoliosis it cannot be cured so we cannot say that oh this young gentleman he is 100% recover we cannot say that we can only say that the sicoriosis is treated or relieve the negative impact or prevent the sicoriosis become worse and worse for example we use a sicoriosis bracing to uh, make the patient uh, stand straight reduce the chance of deformation of the backbone uh, and become worse this question although it just carry free marks would like to grab this chance to show you that disease approach is a very useful method for you to learn biology